Welcome to all the attendees who are trickling in. It looks like we have about 80 so far, which is awesome. Um, what we're doing right now is we're just um, showing a slideshow of some memories from the year, some socials we had, some workshops, things like that. So just enjoy. I think we'll get started in um, about five to 10 minutes, um, giving some time just for everyone to, to attend. So just to give context to everyone um, for these photos, uh, I just thought it could be fun to talk a little about what you're seeing. Um, so a lot of these photos are from a social we had at the start of the year, which was a camping trip, which was the first time we ever did something like this. Um, but it was so much fun. Um, we went down to Santa Cruz, I believe. There was a campsite. Um, a senior scribe of ours, Takemi, she, um, she's from Santa Cruz area and she, helped organize the whole thing um, and she's amazing. But we had such a fun time and that's what, those were the photos of um, the campsite and the beach. Um, we had a really fun few days there. Um, there's some Polaroids from the trip, <laughs> which is super fun. Um, and then other than that, these are just photos of workshops we had throughout the year to do with research and Epic and things like that. Um, and other socials as well. You'll see a bowling social in there. Um, we had a holiday party as well. Um, so that's what you're seeing rotating through. Oh, and that was filming from our Comet video. <laughs> that's the Stanford video team there. All right, I think it looks like a lot of people have trickled in. So I think we're gonna get started. Um, for those that are now joining us, we were just looking through a slideshow of some fun memories from the year, some socials, some workshops um, with 
the entire cohort. So that was just a fun way to reminisce and look back on some of those really fun moments. Um, and, but I think we're gonna get started with our program now. Thank you, Jackie. Welcome to the Comet Class of 2019-2020 graduation ceremony. We're so glad all of you are able to make it today from the comfort of your home. My name is AJ and I'm the incoming chief scribe of Stanford Family Medicine and Stanford Internal Medicine Clinics. My name is Jacob. I'm the incoming chief scribe of the Stanford Specialty Clinics. My name is Domini and I'm going to be the incoming academic coordinator. Hi everyone, my name is Marcia and I'm the incoming chief of Stanford Satellite Clinics and myself, AJ Jacob and Domini will be your masters of ceremony for this graduation. This fellowship class has truly completed so much in and outside of the clinic over the past year. When this program was created, the founding director, Dr. Stephen Lin, emphasized the naming of this post-baccalaureate program as a fellowship. It was his hope that through collaboration and teamwork, these fellows would create a lasting connection long after their fellowship year came to an end. Speaking of individuals who are instrumental to this program, Dr. Valerie Tang is someone who tirelessly works on behalf of the Comet Fellows and faculty. She also works closely in guiding our Comet leadership team in the activities and aspects of all the programs. Dr. Tang is a board certified family physician and clinical assistant professor of medicine in Stanford's Division of Primary Care and Population Health. I would like to welcome Dr. Tang, Associate Director of Comet, to make some opening remarks. Thank you, AJ and our team. Good afternoon, everyone. We are absolutely thrilled that you are joining us for today's celebration to recognize our comments. We've had quite the year with many new and exciting things. Um, as Claire mentioned with some of the show photos, our fellows went on a camping trip last summer. That was our first camping trip with Comet. Um, uh, who you also heard from a little bit, they had our first series of Comet research workshops. Our coordinator put together a foundational curriculum that was debuted for the class of 2021. And of course, we won't forget how this spring we went virtual um, in light of everything with COVID-19 and the pandemic. It has truly been inspiring and encouraging to see how the Comet community and the Stanford community as a whole has come together and supported each other through the dramatic events that have occurred over the past several months. I am grateful for each and every single one of you, whether you are a mentor or a fellow in the program, a member of a clinic that our participants had the privilege of being in, a family member, a friend of our fellows. While we wish that we could highlight every single part and person in our program, we hope that a celebration will give you a taste of the experience that is Comet. To our graduating fellows, thank you for your dedication and hard work in the clinic, and thank you even more for the fun community you formed and allowed us to be a part of. To especially and appreciate and celebrate you today, we do have a special surprise waiting for you in your email inbox. It should get there in probably about five minutes, so please be sure to don't see something, you may have to check your spam folder. Uh, we also want to really thank our amazing mentors who have invested so much time, expertise, and great care for our fellows. We all know that our program would not be what it is without these amazing clinicians, teachers, and supporters. To our fellows in the class of 2021, we are so excited that you are here. We are learning about telehealth visits together. We plan for this fun, if not more than prior years. Thank you to our wonderful chief scribes, coordinators, our program lead for making today's celebration possible. And with that, I'll have our chief scribes further welcome you. Thank you, Dr. Tang, for those wonderful remarks. And thank you so much for all that you do for us and our program. Um, I also wanted to give thanks to our mentors, our fellows, our outgoing fellows for their patience during these past few months. Um, I know there's been a big change, so I'm we are very appreciative. Um, this year, Comet launched a brand new curriculum um, with Priyanka's really hard work, and we've included 10 modules, and we included several case videos to help our scribes um, and prepare them best for our training. We've also been able to develop a virtual protocol where our, our scribes are now um, 
subscribing either through the telephone, using Zoom, um, and hoping we continue to hope that we build a um, interactive experience where um, you could our scribes could still see patients and our um, mentors can get support. Um, and we look forward to hosting more of these vir virtual workshops and enhancing our scribe education um, during these uh, uncertain times. Thank you, Domini. And congratulations to the graduating class of 2020. As Domini said, we've been through a lot throughout these last few months. Both great leadership and support from our mentors, we persevered and made the most out of this fellowship. I, I remember walking into Hoover Pavilion on the very first day of the fellowship and hearing the accolades and experiences of some of the outgoing scribes who had come before us. I thought to myself, how am I going to write a medical note that could pass as my providers, do research along those same providers, have a job, apply to schools, and have a social life? One year later, and we're here and every graduate comfortably sitting in their homes has those experiences and more. We learned together, celebrated together, and even camped together. The friendships that we've made with each other and our mentors go far beyond this fellowship, and I thank you all for that. Congratulations. Jacob or, Mar or Marcia, would you like to talk? Yes. Oh, sorry, technical difficulties here. Of course. Okay, awesome. All right. So as you all may imagine, this these past few months have required a lot more flexibility and adaptability on behalf of our fellows, our leadership team, and especially our mentors due to the unprecedented events of COVID-19. So at this time, I really wanted to give a huge shout out to all our Comet mentors for being so patient with our leadership team as we adapted our scribing techniques and methods, and as well, for, as well as for allowing us to continue learning remotely when the time came. At this time, we would like to kick off our graduation ceremony by taking a few minutes to reflect on this past year by hearing some of our fellows speak on their past year. Starting us off, representing Stanford Satellite Clinics will be Yaki Alejandre. Yaki, take it away. I am also having technical difficulties. Um, okay, so I would first like to start by um, thanking Dr. Tang and the other um, Common Administration for giving me the opportunity to be in the program. I would also like to thank Dr. Montague and Dr. Schillinger for being Christina's and I's mentor in our research. I truly enjoyed um, combining both my passion for helping the earth and medicine together. And lastly, I would like to thank Anthony and all of the chief scribes, especially Jason, for all of your support, hard work, and organization throughout the year in the program. I cannot thank you all enough for all the support that you provided me throughout the year. I am extremely thankful for all of the knowledge and experiences I gathered this year, especially because I was able to meet and work with so many caring, knowledgeable, understanding, and inspiring providers and fellows. Clinic every day was so different and fascinating, from being busy with patients what seemed nonstop in some days, to doing some office stretches with Dr. Barman, uh, learning how to use the ultrasound machine, or conversations of projects, places to visit, life, or extra learning um, everyone in the clinic had outside of Stanford. I'm sad that our learning got cut short a couple of months, especially since I finally felt I had a foundation to learn even more on, but I am still glad I was able to see firsthand um, how a pandemic unravels from the perspective of providers and staff. I hope I'm able to stay in contact and learn some more about professional and personal endeavors everyone has from now on. And uh, once again, thank you for this opportunity. I wish everyone the best. Awesome. 
Thank you so much for sharing that, Yaki. Next up, we'll have uh, Lauren Myers representing Stanford Family Medicine and in Stanford Internal Medicine. Hello, everyone. Happy Friday and congratulations. Um, I'm happy to be here. As you can see, I'm home. Um, so I'll go ahead and get started as why um, Common is really important to me. Being part of Comet has been a very transformative experience, both inside and out of clinic. When I applied to Comet, I remember staring at the essay prompt. It said, tell us why you feel you are a strong candidate for the Comet Fellowship, and be sure to touch on your motivation towards a career in medicine. So the mental journey that I traveled to answer this, it led me to one word, which was leadership. Because my undergraduate studies, they did give me a platform to investigate and help those health disparities on a local and national level. But Comet was an academic endeavor that provided an immeasurable amount of mentorship and support in and out of the clinic. So when I think of what Comet has done for me, I think of all the leaders this program has helped us evolve into. I think of the moment that my mentor has looked me in my eyes and, and the moment we met, she said, you remind me of me. So those small moments of motivation and the large moments of mental interrogation we also had during those patient encounters, that's the fire, the fire that fuels our desires to serve the community and show not only ourselves, but the ones who believe in us that you can do anything you put your mind to. Yes, we may face failures and challenges on the way to our destinies, but that makes our journeys even more meaningful. Last year around this exact time, I had a big challenge. I was homeless, I was leaving out of my car, and I, I, have a, I had a six-year-old, he's now seven. And now I have my own apartment, and my son just finished first grade at Stanford Campus Elementary right here on campus. And so with so much pride and gratitude, I just look forward to this next year as a senior fellow scribe. And I definitely wish my common incoming and outgoing scribes luck with all their future endeavors. Thank you, Comet. It, it's been an honor. Thank you so much for sharing, Lauren. I know that I speak on behalf of the rest of the leadership team, as well as our graduating class, that your words really resonate with a lot of us as well as thank you for sharing the fact that a lot of our Comet Fellows from, come from a diverse set of backgrounds and we're all here to help each other just get better and pursue our dreams here in the medical community. Definitely. And, and finally, representing our Stanford specialty clinics, we have Duke Yao. Hi everyone, uh, my name is Duke and it is my great pleasure to be speaking to y'all today for graduation. Uh, it's truly a momentous occasion for us today to be gathered here together to celebrate our past year in Comet. I just remember coming into Hoover for orientation, meeting everyone for the first time, and receiving our white coats this time last year. Time sure flies, and we've all learned and gained so much more knowledge and experience about what it means to be a medical professional. I'd like to echo what Yaki and Lauren have said. I think I can speak for the whole class when I say that Comet has been an incredible, eye-opening and immersive experience for us all. And we owe that to the Comet leadership team, Dr. Lin and Dr. Tang, Anthony, our chief scribes, Jackie, Jason, Claire, and everyone on the team. Thank you for putting together this amazing program and for always being there to make sure that each of us has the best experience possible coming into clinic every day. I'd also like to thank the Comet faculty mentors. I've learned so much from my own mentor, Dr. David Liang. Every day through working with him, I've been inspired to one day practice medicine the way that he does. And this is a common sentiment among many of us. We're truly inspired by not only the work that our mentors do, but also how they go about doing it. And so we sincerely thank you Comet faculty for all that you have taught us, for your mentorship, and for taking us on and letting us be a part of your medical team. The experiences we have gained working alongside you have been so significant for us pre-health students. And lastly, to my fellow Comet peers, Thank you for the intellectually stimulating and fun conversations that we've had this past year and for being such wonderful friends. Thank you, Comet, from the bottom of my heart. Thanks, guys. That's all I have. <laughs> Thank you so much, Duke, Lauren, and Yaki, for speaking about your experiences in the Comet program. 
Um, I think this truly shows um, how inspirational being in a fellowship together can really impact us um, and the unparalleled experience we have with our um, Comet mentors, um, interacting with hospital staff, um, and working with our leadership team. Um, I apologize for my technical difficulties. I think that just further shows um, you know, how unexpected the end of this year was. Um, and while closing out the year was unexpected, um, what was expected was the amazing accomplishments um, and how much learning all of our fellows would achieve. Um, some of these individuals have engaged in research that has been accepted to national conferences um, and hopes to be published. Um, the graduating, this graduating class makes it five full years since the Comet program was founded, starting from just two scribes in one clinic. Since then, the program has grown to this year having almost 40 scribes across 16 different clinics. I know that with each year, um, each passing year, this program will continue to grow and provide support to fellows and the patients that they serve. This year will truly serve as a testament um, for our ability to adapt to change, our will to continue to serve the communities, um, no matter the platform, um, and the need for change on a larger scale. Um, so I know that I mentioned with the 40 scribes across 16 clinics, um, but as the previous scribes just talked about, none of this work would be possible without our amazing Comet faculty. Um, this year, our 40 scribes were able to work with and learn from and be mentored by um, around 60 Stanford faculty. This is truly an amazing experience to be working with world-renowned physicians um, and healthcare providers. On behalf of the Comet leadership team and current fellows, thank you to all of you for all your exemplary work as healthcare professionals. Um, we wouldn't be here without you. Um, with that being said, we would like to take this time to recognize several outstanding faculty members for their extraordinary mentorship and contributions to the program. First, from Stanford Radiation Oncology, we would like to recognize and thank Dr. Scott Solstice. Here to give a few words on behalf of Dr. Solstice is his Comet Fellow, Jotsna. Jotsna is being um, promoted right now. She should, uh, her video should pop up in just one minute. Welcome Jotsna, would you like to say a few words about Dr. Solstice? Yeah, hi. Um, yeah, so I, I nominated Dr. Solstice because he has been such a great um, great and supportive mentor throughout this year. Um, ever since my first day in clinic, he has always dedicated um, some time with me to explain the cases that we have seen, to teach me and answer any questions that I've had, and to teach me generally a lot more about radiation oncology. Um, he introduced me to research and has been so patient and <laughs> so patient with me as, I, as he helped me write my first um, paper. And um, I really appreciate how he encouraged me to explore other areas in medicine too. He um, gave me the opportunities to shadow in other departments and he allowed me to come to a number of different meetings to generally understand a lot more about what happens in the department. And I really, really appreciate all his support and um, me pursuing medicine in general. Um, and uh, I really just, I really want to thank him for making, helping me make the most of this fellowship, even during the quarantine. He's always, he's been open for me to like uh, join uh, clinic calls and everything and help me and uh, allowing me to scribe virtually. And um, I will truly cherish all that he has taught me this year. And uh, I just wanted to thank Dr. Soltis for all, of, all that he's taught me this year. Thank you so much, Jatsna, for sharing those kind words on Dr. Solstice. Um, next, from Stanford Dermatology Clinic, we would like to recognize Dr. Marilyn Paul Rodriguez. Um, here we have Lexi, um, one of her Comet Fellows, to say a few words about Dr. Paul Rodriguez. Thank you, Jacob. So, um, yeah, I nominated Dr. Paul Rodriguez because, you know, she has been an amazing mentor and friend to me over this past year. She is an amazing provider, but overall, she's an amazing person. And I could probably go on for hours talking about how much I've learned from her, how much I feel like she's helped me grow over this or grow over this past year. But you know, for time's sake, I'm going to keep it short. Um, I'm not sure if she's tuning in because we did have morning clinic, but I just want I'm just so happy that she's being recognized because she truly deserves every moment of it. Her hard work and determination shouldn't go unnoticed. And I just wanna say thank you for inspiring me and helping me continue to pursue my dream in medicine. 
And I have, I'm so grateful to been able to have the pleasure to scribe for you. And I cannot wait for our upcoming year to work together. So congratulations and thank you again. Thank you, Lexi. Mm -hmm. We would now like to recognize Stanford Family Medicine provider, Dr. Rydell. Eliza, would you like to share a few words about Dr. Rydell? Hello. Hi, yes, of course. Um, so I had the amazing pleasure and honor to work with Dr. Rydell this entire year. She was one of the two providers I worked for. Um, from the get-go, she was just such um, such a welcoming presence. She uh, it was it was really special to be able to see how she interacts with patients um, in the clinic. She has a really really special blend of humor and <laughs> just a heartfelt presence with her patients, and that was a really um, that was a really amazing opportunity to see how she. Uh, handles all her clinics and her patients. She also mentored me throughout the year. She knew I was kind of struggling to figure out which direction to go, whether that be PA school, med school, nursing. Um, so she actually invited me to one of her um, family medicine workshops for all the Stanford med students. Um, I also worked with her for her research project this past year. Uh, she was kind enough to think of um, asking if I could attend uh, one of the research conferences back in um, last October. Um, so she's just gone above and beyond and not only making me feel welcome from the, from the beginning, but also repeatedly, repeatedly reminded me of how special um, the role of a scribe is to the providers. Um, so I just wanna definitely thank her for her guidance, um, uh, her heartfelt, um, presence with me and the patients and I've, I've learned so much way more than I ever thought I would starting this program so thank you so much Dr. Rydell. Thank you Eliza. Next from Stanford Family Medicine we would like to recognize Dr. Shumba. Kyle will be sharing a few reasons that inspired him to nominate Dr. Shumba. Am I on? All right. Yes. Uh, you know, I could I could talk all day about everything that Dr. Shumba has done uh, to help me on this journey. But today, I think it's important to recognize Dr. Shumba for her tremendous work at home and abroad as a healthcare provider. Also, I was the only scribe in this cohort that worked with her, and so I feel like everyone should know how great of a provider she is. Um, and one thing that really stuck out to me was, you know, I would see multiple people walk in to the patient rooms that were upset, lost, and uh, absent of hope with their current situation. And in the matter of 30 minutes, I witnessed their whole entire demeanor change from that of little hope to one that's relieved and elated that they were able to um, speak with someone that was full of honesty competency, education, and compassion. Um, and Dr. Shumba embodies all of these values. And uh, I hope that she can feel the much deserved love today uh, as she's being recognized. Um, Dr. Shumba, if you're watching, I'm not sure, but it was an honor uh, to work alongside you. Thank you. Awesome, thank you so much for sharing, Kyle. Next, from Stanford Express Care, we would like to nominate Farnoosh Ebedat, nurse practitioner, and on her behalf, Yaki will be saying a few words. Okay, so I nominated Farnoosh because from the first shift I ever had with her in clinic, she was very understanding, caring, and open-minded. I learned so much about the actual processes of medicine, like incision and drainage, or differentiating between diagnosis, medication, and just overall health questions um, I had. She was always open to answering all of those questions that I had throughout the day, um, regardless if they were related to the patient we were seeing or not. And the knowledge I gained because of her, I was able to use with my other providers, which they seemed to enjoy since um, it made me a more efficient and better scribe. 
Um, another reason is that she has made a lasting impact um, for me and because of the incredible work that she has done in clinic, um, I was able to also get her in a more personal level, which was um, great because she gave me lots of um, life advice and um, all of the work that I did with her will stay with me a lifetime. I truly appreciate um, everything that I learned from her, like bedside manner and just overall knowledge. Um, I wish that I was able to continue with her, but I'm really, really grateful that I was able to work with her. Um, that is all. Thank you for sharing, Yaki. And last but certainly not least, we would like to take time to nominate Dr. Sylvia T. from Stanford Senior Care. And on her behalf, Elizabeth will say a few words. Okay. Um, hi, everyone. So I had the pleasure of working with Dr. T actually this year, and it was by far the best experience that I have ever had. I had known that I wanted to go into senior care, but Dr. T basically solidified that for me. She was able to just show me that there's a bunch of different paths in senior care. It's not just do the MD route and you can work in senior care. You know, she helped me actually feel more confident in my decision to pursue PA school. And not only that, but she took it, took time out of like her busy schedule in her life to actually help me on my research project. And I thought that was absolutely amazing because I had actually no clue what I was doing. And thankfully to Dr. because of Dr. T, I was able to figure all that out. But also I just wanted to you know, make note that Dr. T is by far the best physician that I've ever seen practice. All our patients always comment on how amazing she is and, you know, how lucky you are to be learning from her. And I completely agree. She's always gone above and beyond for her patients. Even if maybe it's not something she entirely knows the answer to, she always finds it and she always makes sure that her patients have everything that they need for the best care possible. So, you know, thank you so much, Dr. T. I am sad that I won't be able to work with you, unfortunately, this year, but I am happy to know that at least I got this experience with you. See? Thank you to all of the amazing mentors that were recognized today. Um, and to all of those mentors that were also not recognized today, we, we really appreciate all of your mentorship and everything you've done for us as scribes throughout this year. Um, we are now going to thank the outgoing scribes, the outgoing chief scribes, um, so we can go on to that now. So I'll start with Claire. Um, I've told Claire this once or twice before, but uh, I felt like I had an easy transition into the Comet Fellowship because of Claire. Um, she trained me. Um, and she made everything very easy for me. I, I felt comfortable and I saw how all of her scribes looked up to her. Um, they respected her, they saw her leadership qualities and, and I knew I wanted to be just like her as a scribe, but I also knew from then that I wanted to apply as a chief scribe and, and try to, to do exactly what she did. So I, I've told her this, but like within the first three months of my scribing experiences, I'd always see her medical notes and I'd be like, I want mine to be just like hers. Um, and then after a few months, I was no longer seeing hers, but I realized my medical notes still look very similar to hers. Um, and I learned so much from her throughout those first three months, but really throughout this entire year. Um, I felt like we became really good friends throughout the year. Uh, I really enjoyed her as a mentor, but also as a friend with the camping trip and, and the bowling socials that we had. Um, she was a great voice and a great leader. Um, for the Comet Fellowship, and she's, she's definitely going to be missed. Thank you, Claire. And so I will be speaking on behalf of Jason Letty, who was my chief of satellite clinics. Um, I just wanted to start off by saying a big old thank you for being a great mentor as well as a chief. I know I speak on behalf of all my cohort, that you made it so easy to transition into the position of a scribe. You provided so much help whenever needed. Um, I truly appreciated all the Phil's Coffee and Koopa Cafe meetings that we had whenever I needed some calming down or just general advice. Um, thank you for being an excellent example of the type of chief I want to be this upcoming year. I know that I will never forget my introduction to bluegrass music. 
um, and I'll always have all the recipes in our monthly meeting emails to drool over, although I may not actually make the attempt to make them. <laughs> um, and thank you for being a great friend as well. I know that I speak on the behalf of the satellite cohort as well as the leadership team when I say we wish you the best of luck in San Diego and we know that you'll be super great as a doctor and will succeed in whatever you do. And who knows, if I end up in San Diego, we'll be sharing a California burrito very soon. I would like to take the time to thank um, Jackie. Jackie, you are the epitome of a chief of specialty scribe. Um, for those of you that don't know, um, she's trained in maybe four or five different specialties to support our scribes throughout the year um, and during this training month. Um, she has truly showed me what you put into this program is what you get out of it. Um, I feel like she has really shown how you can maximize your experience learning from so many different providers, um, engaged in research, traveling to conferences, as well as being a inspiring um, and exemplary leader throughout all of those discussions you've had with us in your cohort. Um, I wanna thank you personally for working with me so closely, especially over the past month or two. Um, you know, times have been difficult um, with this virtual training for virtual scribing and you've been nothing but the most supportive. Um, all of us in the specialty cohort truly wish you the best in all your future endeavors. Um, and we know that you're going to achieve exactly what you want. Um, can't wait for you to be a dermatology provider one day. Um, please reach back out to us and update us and thank you so much for all you've done. Uh, we won't forget it. I'd also like to take this moment to just thank um, some of the other members of our leadership team. Um, from the first moment in this program, you probably received an email from Anthony Duong. He is our program lead. Um, he works tirelessly behind the scenes to make sure everything runs smoothly. Um, this program would not run without him and he truly deserves all of your recognition and thanks. Um, we hope you can celebrate him today as well. Also, thank you again to Dr. Lin and Dr. Tang for your continued guidance, mentorship, and support. Um, this program wouldn't exist without you and um, I know we constantly look to you for guidance and you're always there with the right answers or to help us grow and find those answers for ourselves when necessary. Um, thank you all to our leadership team. With that, I'll turn it over to Domi to say a couple words about our academic program. So I would like to give a huge shout out. I don't know if Priyanka is here, but um, over the past year, she built our amazing new curriculum um, and worked with uh, some of um, the staff at Cleveland Clinic to build our curriculum. And we've just been so happy with all the feedback um, and just seeing that how easy training has been going for our scribes. So um, thank you so much, Priyanka, and uh, just for all your support. I also wanted to give a huge shout out to our senior scribes for their continued um, dedication to our program. Um, Kushbu, Priyanka, and uh, John, um, I wish you guys all the best and um, please keep us updated with um, wherever you guys go and good luck in the medical community. Without further ado, we'd like to now recognize and celebrate each of the graduating fellows who have received their diplomas representing successful completion of this one year fellowship. Yes, and I think I have the honor of talking about AJ. Um, I had the pleasure of having AJ in my cohort this year. Um, AJ is such a light in everyone's lives um, with that big smile and his unrelenting enthusiasm. Um, I'm so, so happy to be passing on the baton to AJ, who is Chief Scribe of Primary Care Clinics this next year. Your scribes are so lucky to have you. I know you are going to be the most amazing chief scribe ever. Um, and you, in addition to being chief scribe this upcoming year, will be doing a post back at SFSU, and we wish you luck there. Um, and congratulations on your graduation. <laughs> thank you very much, Claire. Um, and I just really wanted to say thank you to all of the providers I've worked with. Thank you to Dr. Schillinger, Dr. Montague, Dr. Nelligan, and Hannah Wright for allowing me to work with you guys and being the best mentors I could have asked for throughout this last year. 
and I also really wanted to say thank you to my family. Thank you for always supporting me and loving me and for everything you do for me, um, especially my parents and my grandparents. And thank you to my aunt and uncle to allow me to stay with them um, in the Bay Area while I completed this program. So I couldn't have done this without you guys. Thank you. And next, it's, it's my pleasure to recognize Albino Fulcarelli for a successful completion as a Comet Satellite Scribe at Los Altos. Um, I know he's going to stay on another year as a senior scribe, and hopefully that'll lead to even more success applying to medical school. Um, we really appreciate all you've done as being the lone scribe at Los Altos this past year. And to all our scribes, we're going to introduce you, and you're welcome to speak and give a couple words. Um, if you're in the chat, we will unmute you and, and uh, but we want to thank you in person as well the next time we see you. All right. Um, and yeah, just to clarify on that point of uh, protocol. So we're going to introduce the scribe and then we're actually going to bring them from attendee to panelist. So at that point, if they would like to say anything or show their face, um, they have about 20 to 30 seconds to do so um, if they would like. All right. Um, and I have the absolute pleasure of honoring Alex Hernandez, um, who was an incredible scribe in family medicine. Um, Alex is such a kind soul with a truly a heart of gold. Um, his dedication to the program was incredible. Um, he had a very long commute from Oakland um, to clinic every day, but he never complained and he was always early. Um, he's such a hard worker and he's really developed into such a strong scribe and I'm so proud of him and so honored to have worked with him. Um, and he will be staying on as a senior scribe this next year and also pursuing a career in medicine. So congratulations, Alex. I'm not sure if you're, you've been brought in, but if you'd like to say a few words, we'd love to hear it. Yeah, thank you, Claire. Um, so I would like to thank Claire for being my chief scribe and for always being there for support. Um, I would like to thank my providers, Dr. Thom, Dr. Nilligan, and Dr. Montague. Um, I would also like to thank Dr. Marioka Douglas for allowing me to be part of her research um, and all the MAs in Family Medicine Clinic. Uh, for always being there to help us out when we need help. Um, and I always also want to, uh, to thank all the Comet, all my Comet peers for making this experience an, uh, an awesome, making this experience awesome. So thank you all. All right, so it is my pleasure to introduce Alexis or Lexi Mendez. Lexi was a scribe in dermatology this past year, and she will be continuing on as a senior scribe with Dr. Paul Rodriguez, um, whom you heard about earlier in the program. And uh, I just wanted to share that throughout the year, the leadership team loves to check in on how both the mentor and scribe are doing. And Lexi's mentors have nothing short of amazing things to say about her, including that she was driven, sharp, clearly committed to doing the best possible job, and scribing at a level of an expert, experienced expert resident. So it was such a pleasure to be your chief scribe. Best of luck as you apply to medical school this year. And would you like to say any words, Lexi? Sure, thanks, Jackie. Um, yeah, first of all, I would just, of course, like to thank you, Jackie, because you are the one who trained me and you set me up for success. So again, thank you for training me and always being there no matter what time it was for my various questions. Um, I know my family is tuning in, so I just wanna shout them out and thank them for their continued support over my life. Um, and you did hear me already appreciate Dr. Pohl. Um, and also I did work directly with Dr. Badger and she was amazing too. I feel like I have learned so much and grown tremendously over this year. And I'm just excited to see what the next year brings. So thank you again. Thank you, Lexi. The next scribe I have the pleasure of recognizing is Ashmita Chakraborty, who is our second scribe in dermatology. 
and just we expanded from uh, just one scribe in dermatology to now three and they've just been doing such an exemplary job and more and more dermatologists at Stanford want more comet scribes so that says a lot. Um, Ashmita is preparing and applying to medical school this cycle. Her mentors mentioned that she was such a wonderful person and scribe to work with, being an active listener and quick learner. She regularly went above and beyond to help out as part of the healthcare team and staying, even if that meant staying later than usual, than her usual shift. Um, and they want to let you know, Ashmita, that your positive attitude will go such a long way in your medical career. So thank you for being a part of this program. And do you have any words you'd like to say? Um, yeah, hi. Um, well, this past year just came and went before I even could, you know, process or realize anything, but it's been great. Such a wonderful learning experience. Um, I actually got to experience scribing in both dermatology and endocrinology, so I wanted to give a shout, shout out to both my derm and endo mentors, um, Dr. Alish and Dr. Hanari and Dr. Desai. I learned so much and feel so much more prepared applying now than I would have at this time last year. So this was one of the best decisions I could have made after um, graduating. Also just wanted to give a shout out to Jackie for being such an awesome chief scribe, so approachable and fun to be, with, be around. I remember at the beginning we would like freak out about our shared love of sunscreens, but <laughs> so a little like derm nerd moments that we got to share. Um, and then other than that, Jyotsna and Kavya were great friends to have in the program and kept me kind of grounded and, you know, just having someone to talk to while having this shared experience has been lovely. And I've learned and grown a lot and had a great time while doing it all. Thanks, everyone. Next, it's my pleasure to congratulate Christina Briones, one of our stellar Portola Valley satellite scribes. Um, she has been such a joy to work with this past year, and whether that's talking about cases in clinic or our mutual love of baking pies, um, I wish her all the best as she applies to whatever graduate program she decides on and her continued outpatient work um, that's already started. Uh, yeah, thank you so much for everyone. I want to say a big thank you to all of my providers, Dr. Bajra, Dr. Chung, Dr. Angelo, and Dr. Chen. You've all been amazing people that I'm so grateful I've been able to work with. Um, and I want to say thank you to everyone else in the program. It's been a truly amazing year. And I know that everyone's going to do amazing things in the future. So thank you all. Next, I have the pleasure of recognizing Claire Wang, who is our token scribe in palliative care. Um, Claire will actually be moving to North Carolina upon completion of the fellowship. And her mentors just said that she was an absolute joy to work with. You had a wonderful personality and your enthusiasm really helps with the clinic flow, in addition to having top-notch HPIs. Um, I wholeheartedly want to echo your provider's words and say that I loved working with you, Claire. You were always on top of everything. All your emails, you always asked clarifying questions and took a lot of initiative. And I'll miss you a lot um, if you'd like to add anything or say anything to our audience. Thank you so much, Jackie, for your kind words. I would like to thank Dr. Hannah, Dr. Ram Chandran, and Dr. Hui in palliative care, and also Dr. Jiang in family medicine for letting me scribe for you guys and learning so much about the palliative care team and family medicine family. <laughs> and I would also like to thank Jackie. You have been such a light in this program and it's been, I've been so grateful to be a part of um, your, your group. And you've been so helpful with answering so many questions, but also supporting so much emotional support and also MCAT support. And I'm really grateful to have met you through Comet. Thanks, Claire. <laughs> Awesome. I have the pleasure of congratulating Cody Green, um, who I worked with this past year. He was a scribe in Stanford Family Medicine and Internal Medicine. Um, we could always count on Cody to bring his witty Southern humor to any situation, uh, which was really appreciated in our cohort meetings. And I heard was also appreciated in clinic and some patients as well. Um, 
So yes, so Cody was always a pleasure to have around, such a hard worker, um, an incredibly strong scribe. So um, we're sad to see him go. He's moved back to Georgia and will be working in the healthcare field this upcoming year and applying to medical schools. Cody, if you are here, we'd love to hear from you. Um, well, I enjoyed my time at Stanford and I'd really like to thank uh, Dr. Tang, uh, Dr. Kenny and Dr. Chung for all the experience that I was able to get and every, I think everyone was really patient. It was really great, a really great learning environment and uh, yeah, I had a really, had a really great year. Awesome. Thank you so much, Cody. Um, and now I have the absolute pleasure of recognizing Dominique Patel, um, who again was just the most wonderful scribe to work with. I always say when I grow up, I want to be like Domini. Um, she is, uh, she was in family medicine. She also piloted in cardiothoracic surgery. Um, so she's very impressive, a very strong scribe. Um, she's also such a lovely, genuine human being with a true passion for patient care. Um, she is brilliant and going to be an incredible physician. Um, and she is currently applying to medical school. So all of our fingers crossed for you, Domini. Um, and she will also be staying on as academic coordinator um, and applying for jobs in research. We are so lucky to have you stay around with us, Domini. Oh my gosh, thank you, Claire. That was so sweet. Um, I just wanted to give uh, Claire you a big shout out. Um, you've been so supportive. You've always, um, you know, checked in, made sure I was doing well. You've always encouraged me to become better. Um, and I also wanted to give a huge Huge thank you to my mentors, uh, Dr. Wylander, Dr. Sattler. You guys have taught me how to care for a patient and your bedside manners are something that I had never witnessed. I had worked as um, an emergency medicine scribe before to joining Comet and that's something that I never saw. So thank you for uh, teaching me how to make everyone around me or like others comfortable. I also wanted to just um, give a huge thanks to cardiothoracic surgery department. Um, I worked with two PAs um, and they were just amazing and taught me like, like about heart, um, had me listen to like heart murmurs and just see what an aneurysm looks like. So that was pretty cool. And um, I started to sh also shadow Dr. Kondawal from cardiology. So I look forward to um, expanding our program more and I'm just so grateful it's an it's been an honor to learn from all my mentors and thank you so much Claire thank you so much to our incredible Stanford Express care scribe Desiree Guzman who somehow was able to balance work and school and scribing and still uphold some of the highest standards for her notes and her work with her providers and her fellows um, we are gonna miss you dearly and all the best as you apply to nursing programs this upcoming year. Um, if you'd like to say a few words, now is your chance. Thank you, Desiree. Uh, hello, everyone. I just want to give a big thank you to everyone involved in the Comet program. I'm so thankful that I had this experience. I, I'm so grateful for everyone who had a part in this. Thank you to Jason for being the best chief scribe I could ever ask for. And, helping me with my hectic schedule all year long. Um, thanks to my providers. I learned so much from all of you. And thank you to all the MAs at Express Care. Thank you to everyone at Express Care, like the best clinic in Hoover. I don't care what anyone says, sorry. Um, and thank you to all the fellow scribes that I met. You guys were all so awesome. And I really think we all helped each other through this. And I'm so excited to see what all of you guys do. So thank you, everyone. Next, I would like to recognize and congratulate Duke Yao, who all of you have heard from earlier. Duke was our token scribe in cardiology. While a Comet Fellow, Duke really took advantage of the numerous opportunities to learn and grow, engaging in research projects with his mentor, Dr. Liang, and also staying later if needed to, to shadow him as well and see what it means to, to care for patients. 
Um, I'm so excited to announce that Duke will be heading off to medical school. He did mention it earlier in the year that he was going to medical school, but uh, I didn't try to pry or prod to see where he's going, but I just found out that Duke will be going to Harvard Med. So Harvard is so lucky to have you, and it was such a pleasure to be your chief scribe and to have you in the program. Thank you so much, Duke. Hi, everyone. Uh, thanks for your kind words, uh, Jackie. Um, I'd just like to give a big uh, thank you to everyone again in, in the Comet leadership team and all uh, you guys in my cohort. Uh, Comet's been such a, a transformative experience for me and this past year has just been the best thing ever. Um, and then a huge shout out again to Jackie. You've been, I think, a wonderful chief scribe and just helping and supporting us all the time and answering all of our questions. I think you you really work behind the scenes to make sure that everything goes so smoothly and then um, you make sure that all of us has the best time possible. So I thank you so much for that. And I uh, just wanted to give a huge shout out again to my mentor, Dr. David Liang. He's been uh, in, like a really inspiring mentor and someone who I really look up to and hope to, to follow the shadows of and just hope to be just ha like half as good as a as a provider. And And so, um, thank you to everyone. It's been such a great experience. All right. Thank you, Duke. Um, I had the absolute, absolute pleasure of working with Eliza Harvard, um, who was one of our lovely Stanford Family Medicine scribes. She also did a pilot in child psychiatry. Um, so really exciting stuff. Um, and she is an absolute angel. Um, she's just a wonderful sweetheart and such a joy to be around. Um, at the same time, she's an incredible force to be reckoned with, and she is so brilliant and incredibly gifted um, as a scribe and a student. Um, and there, there really isn't anything she can't do. Um, and her next steps include a accelerated nursing program at Quinnipiac University in Connecticut, which she will be starting in August. Um, so we wish her the absolute best of luck. We know she's going to do amazing things there. And we are so sad to see you go, but also so excited for your future. Um, Eliza, if you are here, I'd love to hear from you. Hello. Thank you so much, Claire, for that. That was so sweet and special to hear. Um, I owe so much to you throughout this year, for sure. You have been so patient with me and I know the rest of my <laughs> scribes with answering all our questions, um, all the learning curves in the beginning, especially. So thank you for your guidance and your um, constant help with everything. I also want to thank both my mentors. I talked about Dr. Rydell before. Um, again, such a great uh, mentor throughout the year. And then my other uh, provider I got to work with was Dr. Morioka Douglas, who again was, I, I, I call her the OG because she is just so knowledgeable about everything. She knows her patients so well um, and all their families and everything. So it was a pleasure working with her and learning from her. Um, yeah, I want to thank the rest of the chief scribes for putting everything together. Um, Dr. Tang, uh, for also being a great mentor, also definitely patient with me throughout this year. Um, and the rest of my scribes, I had the pleasure of working with and meeting throughout the year. It was so fun to meet all you guys. Um, all of you guys are so inspiring to me, uh, and best of luck to everybody. Thank you. It's my distinct pleasure to congratulate Elizabeth Quijada, one of our very best senior care scribes that's ever come through Comet. Um, as she tackled all the misadventures of medically and personally this past year, um, has just been an outstanding fellow. And we love to continue having her this next year, working with Dr. James in senior care and wish her the very best as she applies to PA school going forward. Uh, you already heard from her, but we'd love to hear from you again, Elizabeth. Yeah, of course. Uh, thank you so much, Jason. And, you know, definitely shout out to you. Thank you for being patient with me this past year and actually taking time to like really sit with me and train me over again when I did have my little medical mishap. And of course, again, thank you to Dr. T for also being patient with me and taking time out of her schedule to just sort of help me with everything. And I think my mom's on here. So also thank you to my mom for giving me 
um, just the resources I needed to even make this whole thing possible. And thank you to just comment in general, because I really wouldn't have been able to do half of the things that I got to do without this amazing program. And, you know, congratulations to all of us. And I'm really happy for us. And I'm excited to see where everyone ends up. Thank you, Elizabeth. Um, I'd like to now recognize and congratulate my scribe, Elwin Moyer, who was the best ever scribe in infectious diseases. Not only that, he also scribed in family medicine and express care. And he was a mentee to not only providers like doctors, but also to NPs and PAs. So Doc, uh, Elwin really took advantage of his experience here at Comet. Uh, his mentors mentioned that he was such a pleasure to work with and that he learned so quickly. Um, and I also wanted to add that in addition to writing, you know, a medical note, what happens between the patient and the provider, it's also really important to write down what the instructions for what the patient needs to do when they go back home so that when they read the note, they're able to see exactly what they talked about with, with the doctor and what exactly they need to do. And Ellen was extremely, uh, do, did an extremely amazing job at that. So thank you, Elwin. Um, your mentors say that you are an example of a great Comet Fellow and that uh, they are excited to have you continue on. We are so excited to have you on as a senior scribe continuing in infectious diseases. So, Ellen, if you'd like to say any words, if you're here today. Okay, so. Thanks, thanks, Jackie. Sorry, I had a, an issue with my mic. Um, thank you. I've been really lucky to work with a lot of providers across a lot of different clinics. And um, it's just been really encouraging and wonderful to see that the the words about empathy and compassion might really do translate into practice. So. Um, that's like been great for me. So thank you so much. Amazing. And I have the pleasure of congratulating Farheen, who um, was one of our lovely family medicine and internal medicine and express care scribes. <laughs> um, and I think that just goes to show um, that she truly exudes an eagerness to learn and a passion for medicine that was just inspiring to have around. Um, if you don't know, she is actually a medical doctor from abroad. Um, so it was such an honor to have her in our cohort discussions and learn from her expertise. Um, and I know she really enjoyed pushing herself in clinic in that way as well. Um, and we are so lucky to have her continue on as a senior scribe. And she's also applying for a master's in public health and pursuing her US medical licensing exams. So congratulations, Farheen. I know you are going far. You are such an inspiration. Thank you so much, Claire. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, first of all, I would like to congratulate the class of 2020, including myself on graduating today. I would also like to thank all my amazing mentors, including Dr. Barman, Dr. Tang, Dr. Fatke, Dr. Kenny, and Dr. Caceres for their support, time, and guidance throughout the year. Uh, being a Comet Fellow, I would say it's been a wonderful journey. Experience learning from and working alongside world's best providers has given me the wealth of the experience which hasn't only inspired my clinical skills, but would forever be woven in my future deals. Thank you so much, Comet team, and good luck to my fellow classmates for future endeavors. Thanks. Thank you so much, Farheen. Next, we'd love to congratulate Huma Amir our amazing senior care scribe and express care scribe from this past year. She has been one of the most curious and empathetic and kind people to come through our satellite clinics. And we wish her all the best as she applies to PA programs and continues to uh, balance such a busy schedule with her family and with her career. And it's been such a pleasure getting to know you this past year. So if you, we'd love to hear a few words if you're on the chat.
Well, no problem. <laughs> congratulations, Huma. Now I'd like to, uh, I have the honor of being able to congratulate Jacob Bless, who was a scribe in endocrinology. Um, he will be completing his post-baccalaureate fellowship at SFSU before applying to medical school this cycle. And as you all know, he will be taking over as chief scribe of specialty clinics, and I couldn't have asked for a better um, successor. So I'm extremely excited for the incoming specialty scribes who will be able to work with you as well as the, the Comet program. I wanted to highlight that your mentors say that you are always extremely responsible, professional, pleasant, a great team member, and always took initiative and took extra initiatives. You took full responsibility over your entire research that we had the pleasure of hearing about at the Comet Research Symposium. Um, and they also want to say that you will honestly succeed in any career that you choose. Um, so thank you, Jacob. And I couldn't agree more with those sentiments. Oh, thank you so much, Jackie, for those kind words. Um, I really just have to say it's under your leadership and guidance and advice that um, everything I did in this program was possible. Um, I'd like to shout out my Comet mentors, Dr. Bessina and Dr. Selmeyer. Um, Dr. Selmeyer, I'm sorry we are running late. I'll be in clinic soon, um, but thank you so much for just everything you've done. You have been, um, you know, just being in the same room as you, I feel like I soak up knowledge. That's how um, intelligent, amazing, impressive um, I feel working with you is. Um, you know, you're an international expert on um, what you talk about, and so it's just truly a pleasure to work alongside you. Dr. Bessina, thank you so much for engaging me in your research interests, um, including me in different meetings, um, doing coffee runs with me, and going to different grand rounds. I truly appreciate just how much you've um, really pushed me to grow um, and inspired me in this field. Um, thank you to Dr. Lin as well for the research we worked on together. Um, it was very exciting to present it um, at a virtual conference this year along with some of my Comet uh, fellows. And I'm just so grateful for my experience in this program and look forward to working more next year. Thank you, everyone. Thank you so much, Jacob. Next, we'd love to congratulate Jennifer Marte, our stellar Stanford Ravens with Scribe, the first one to pilot at that clinic and to establish a foothold in one of the best community health clinics in the Bay Area, probably in the country. Um, she has been such an outstanding scribe, so curious, so kind, and so generous with her time working on, at different clinic sites and getting to know the providers and um, helping all of her fellows and satellite learn more about what it means to be part of a community health clinic. Um, thank you so much, Jennifer. Thank you, Jason. Um, I would like to say a special thanks to um, Nina Duong, um, the nurse practitioner that I scribed for, and Dr. Shah um, for being great mentors. And also Dr. Tang, I honestly could not have done this program without her mentorship. Um, even though she wasn't my assigned mentor, she did play the role of a great mentor and I really, really appreciate all her support. I would also like to um, say a special thanks to um, Dr. Morioka Douglas for allowing me and Alex to be a part of um, the research project that we worked on with her. And uh, of course, to you guys, the chief scribes, Jackie, Claire, and Jason for always being there for us to support us. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much, Jennifer. And our next scribe to congratulate is Julie Moon, who did some amazing work at Express Care with Dr. Fautre, uh, much to our, not amazement that she was an amazing scribe, but that she got along well with so many people because she is so quiet sometimes, but somehow managed to have such a loud personality, whether working with Dr. Barman, Dr. Fautre, or Dr. Gaviola, she made an impression on them all and they all loved working with her. Um, and we're so lucky to have her continue to be a senior scribe this next year uh, and pilot in uh, ob Gyne. So thank you, Julie. I'm not sure if she's here today, but um, we'll love to hear from you soon. Hi everyone, now I'd like to recognize and congratulate Jatsna Natarajan, who was our token scribe in radiation oncology, which if any of you know what radiation oncology is about, it's really like I've heard it's like an alien language, extremely difficult. But Jatsna not only managed to learn it, but excel. Um, 
I would like to just say that her mentors mentioned she was an outstanding scribe. You learned the clinic flow and you coordinated very well with the rest of the healthcare team. Um, you were extremely responsible and proactive and took advantage of any research opportunities. It was exciting to hear of your acceptance uh, to national conferences with your research, as well as being able to publish a paper in, in the field of radiation oncology. Um, and your mentors mentioned that even though your notes were already excellent, you continue to find ways to improve them. Um, and I'm extremely proud and excited to announce that Jasna will be heading off to Drexel Medical School in the fall. We, um, it was such a pleasure to be your chief scribe, and I wish you the best of luck in medical school. Drexel is so lucky to have you. Thank you, Jasna. Thank you, Jackie, for your kind words. Um, I would first like to thank the Comet Fellowship for this amazing opportunity. Uh, Dr. Tang and Jackie for being such great mentors throughout the year. Um, I would also like to, uh, when it comes to the radiation um, oncology department, I would like to start by thanking Dr. Soltis and Dr. Liu. Both of you have been such great mentors for me and you have really taught me the true definition of how to be dedicated to your patients and patient care. Um, I am beyond grateful for, the, for this opportunity to work with you. Um, I would also like to give a small, sh give a shout out to Dr. Pollum. Uh, I thank you for being so ready and open to having me on your team and letting me scribe, even though it was only for a few short months. I really, I've also learned a lot from you. And lastly, I would like to thank Lauren, Lori, Gail, Susie, and all the residents in the radiation oncology department. Uh, you all have taught me so much and ha and like and have been so open to incorporating me into your into the patient care team and i'm so glad that we've become such good friends and i i look forward to keeping in touch with everyone thank you so much thank you justna and thank you so much and congratulations to kavya one of my, of my two favorite <laughs> satellite scribes in portola valley who managed to hold down the fort um, and a place that was very near and dear to my heart. Um, we will love to have you keep going with Dr. Chang and wish you the very best as you apply to medical school and, and all your future endeavors. Thank you. Thank you, Jason. Thank you. I just wanted to say thank you to my providers, Dr. Chung and Dr. Angela and Clinic, as well as my research mentor, Dr. Tang, for their invaluable advice and guidance over the past year. Working with them definitely has solidified why I want to go into primary care. Thank you to Jason for training me in Portola Valley, Claire, my tent buddy, and Jackie for always answering our questions. Thank you to the fellow scribes for being a great support system, whether that was in clinic, research, and even outside the program and classes. Congrats to everyone. I'm excited to be sticking around for another year. Awesome. I have the pleasure of congratulating Kyle Davis, um, who was one of our lovely scribes in family medicine. Um, and I, I feel like this selfie really says it all. Um, Kyle is truly was a light in our scribe tribe. Uh, he was always bringing the humor, his amazing smile and just his enthusiasm for whatever we were doing. Um, he, th the other thing I really admire about Kyle is he's always incredibly professional and on time. He was in every situation, the first person to arrive 10 to five minutes early. Um, and he was really present and he was, he attended, I think almost every event that we had um, in the Comet program. And so I really appreciate that about Kyle. He's just really enthusiastic and excited to be here, excited about medicine. And I know he's gonna be an amazing provider one day. Um, and Kyle, this upcoming year, we are so lucky to have him continue with us as a senior scribe. Um, as well as teaching around in schools around the Bay Area. So Kyle, if you are there, we would love to hear from you. Yeah, uh, thank you so much, Claire, um, for, the, for those kind words. Uh, before I start, quick shout out to Jason for uh, teaching me a lot about the medical school uh, application process. So really appreciate that. Um, you know, and I would like to give a special thanks to um, uh, AJ, Farheen, and Lauren. Um, those were my partners uh, on the research um, project that, that we were on and uh, just really appreciate you guys for, for uh, you know, help, helping and uh, really bringing it to life. Um, 
as well as the mentors and the leaders on the project, uh, who were Dr. Uh, Tamara Montague, Dr. Taku Takuzwa Shumba, and Dr. Valerie Tang. Thank you guys so much for your guidance and all of everything that you taught us about research and, um, you know, really a lot about, um, you know, the, the primary care, the whole primary care world and uh, the field that uh, we all want to get into. Um, also, special thanks to Dr. Tham, who I also scribed for with uh, Dr. Shumba. And, um, and uh, also thank you, lastly, um, or not lastly, but thank you to Claire for um, just really, really uh, helping me helping me advance and get better as a scribe and um, just being patient and, and um, you know, but uh, demanding and, 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 you know, helping me get to that next level. Um, so I really appreciate that. And then lastly, thank you to mom and dad who are watching. Uh, they're outside doing, doing yard work right now. So uh, the dedication is unmatched, <laughs> um, but thank you mom and dad for making this possible and, and uh, supporting me through, through it all. Thank you. All right, thank you, Kyle, for those lovely words. Um, and I have, again, the absolute pleasure of congratulating Lauren Myers, um, who was our one of our lovely scribes in family medicine. Um, Lauren is an absolute rock star. Um, she is a true example of hard work, dedication, initiative, and just a passion for medicine um, that was really inspiring. Um, she gracefully balanced so much that she had on her plate while giving all to the program. Um, she is just a true inspiration. Um, and we are so lucky to have her staying on as a senior scribe working with Dr. Mahoney. Um, and this fall, she will also be graduating from ASU with a Master of Science in Science of Health Healthcare delivery. Congratulations, Lauren, and congratulations on graduating from the Comet Fellowship. Thank you, Claire. I appreciate all of that. Okay, I am not going to cry. I'm not. Rule number one. Um, this room. I mean, you all. Um, Dr. Lynn, thank you for caring about your community and the students that would be coming in behind you. Thank you, Dr. Ting, for um, listening, even though I know you have patience to get to, but still listening in and being there and caring in. I remember when I first met Dr. Ting, it was my interview. I was so nervous, I was so nervous. And I mentioned my research I was doing with my online program. And she sat back in her chair and said, wait a minute, tell me more about it. And that was the first time I felt anyone really cared about what I was passionate about, what I was doing all of this for. And I think Claire and all the other chiefs for just being so supportive behind the scenes We've probably text messaged each, each other at every time of the night <laughs> and just really stuck together through all of this virtually despite the pandemic. I have amazing mentors, a plethora of them, Dr. Marioka Douglas, who has took, taken me under her wing and, and said, let's really talk about what we're doing here. Let me really show you medicine. Dr. Montague, for being phenomenal and always showing me that having good energy is always okay. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Shumba, for, for letting me participate in the research as well, despite not even being in her clinic. I wanna definitely thank Dr. Mahoney. She is definitely um, a light for my journey and I'm very blessed to be able to work with her this year and next year as well. And, um, I definitely feel that Dr. Jang has also been very instrumental. I've learned that being very diverse can also be golden in medicine. Knowing how to navigate medicine your own way can also be very golden as well. And so to all my peers and everyone, I, I sincerely really love you. And um, I I'm very grateful to be here and um, I'm here. 
I'm here. Thank you so much. Comment. Thank you so much, Lauren, for those amazing words. Uh, next, I would love to congratulate Marcia. Um, it has been my honor to get to know you this past year. I remember sitting in on your interview and training you, and it's very easy to size people up and throw them in the deep end when they're being trained in clinic. And some people take it like a champ, and you totally did, treading water and surpassing everyone's expectations in express care as one of the best scribes to ever come through the satellites, uh, to become a leader in your clinic among your fellows, and, and to just show yourself as a truly amazing human being uh, and who I'm glad to call a friend, um, someone who I will miss very dearly working close with when I'm in San Diego, but you're always welcome to come stay and have a beach weekend with burritos and tacos and everything. Um, the satellites could not be in better hands um, it, under your leadership, so thank you. Oh, thank you, Jason, for the very kind words. Um, I just really wanna use this time to shout out my amazing mentors. Uh, to Dr. Gabiola for being um, just so open to talking about our upbringings and how we inspire, like why we inspire to be medical providers. Um, to Kelly Sanderson for being just an incredible powerhouse. In fact, right now she's out on a backpacking trip, much like she does everything else. She is a volunteer firefighter, also spent some time in New York to help with the COVID-19 crisis. Just an incredible inspiration to me. And certainly, last but not least, Dr. Barman, a true idol to me. Um, thank you for just exemplifying exactly what a doc teaching doctor is, making everything a teaching moment, for showing that it's never too busy to take a nice little push-up break or a Zumba break. And I'm so tired. I'm so happy that you haven't gotten tired of me so that I can continue working with you this year. I have the pleasure of recognizing and congratulating Melissa Chase, who was not only a scribe in dermatology, but also in gastroenterology, as I think one of our first scribes in that specialty. Um, so I, in my first year of comment, I was also a dermatology scribe, and uh, the my providers wanted someone to take over who would do an amazing job, and honestly, Melissa, probably succeed, exceeded all expectations. Um, they mentioned that you are a great communicator, diligent, responsible, easy to talk to, and always having a terrific attitude. Um, they love how dedicated you are to patient care, and they say that you will make a great doctor someday, and I couldn't agree more with that. Um, you would always spend effort uh, to look into charts just for additional details, which was much appreciated by your mentors. Um, in addition to balancing these two specialty clinics, she was also a chief scribe at a different um, hospital. And she also had to commute several, one, I think one or two hours just to get to, to Comet's clinics. So that was much appreciated. Um, I also want to recognize that Melissa will be publishing as first author on a study she did with one of her providers, Dr. Novoa, in dermatology. And she will also be balancing this with applying to medical school in the future. Congratulations, Melissa. Oh, hi. I don't know if you guys can hear me. Um, my mom, she she's getting a surgery today and she's all under anesthesia and she's like, no, I need Melissa to come pick me up instead of my brother who's going to do it. So I'm at the hospital right now, so my service is a little weird. But um, thank you guys so much. This program has been amazing. Um, all of my providers, I'm not sure if they're tuning in right now, but like they've all just helped me grow immensely. I've learned more than I could ever imagine with them. And all of you guys as my fellows, I've made amazing friendships and I've just you guys have been so inspiring, all of your stories and just getting to know all of you. I feel like I've just grown so much this past year and I'm just really thankful for um, being able to know everyone. This has been definitely like the highlight of my whole entire pre-medical career. So I'm really happy about it and just thank you guys so much.
Thank you, Melissa. That was really amazing to hear. Um, and I have the pleasure of congratulating Nestle, um, who was one of our scribes in Stanford Family Medicine. She also um, was a part of the addiction medicine clinic there, um, and she truly became such an expert. Um, it was awesome to see. Um, Nestle is an absolute ray of sunshine, uh, who was just a joy to have in our cohort meetings and our program in general. Um, she's inspiringly brilliant and passionate about medicine. Um, she is a force to be reckoned with, and we are so lucky to have her con continue on as a senior scribe. Um, and she is also currently applying to medical school. So all of our fingers crossed for you, Nestle, um, and congratulations. Hi, everyone. Uh, thank you, Claire, for your kind uh, words. This is a very exciting day for me. I am truly honored to be part of Comet Fellowship. And I can't believe this year has already over. And I believe I've grown so much over the year. And I would like to thank to my amazing mentors. Uh, Dr. Seacamp uh, from Family Medicine for inspiring me every day and bringing the best out of me. Dr. Settler from Family Medicine for her amazing uh, support the whole time. Uh, Dr. Chen from Internal Medicine, who's a uh, addiction specialist, for her amazing teaching moments every Friday. Uh, Kelly Henderson from Express Care for her enthusiasm for her job and being such an inspiring person person, Dr. Lin for being an amazing research mentor, and Dr. Tang for her uh, support during the most difficult times uh, this past year. And I would like to uh, give special thanks to Tuan Nguyen, uh, who was a, like an alumni of this uh, fellowship, and who is the person who encouraged me to apply comments two weeks before the application deadline. And honestly, I wouldn't be here if it didn't, if I didn't meet him, if it wasn't for him. I'm uh, very thankful. I also like would like to th thank um, to Jason Letty, who put in extra effort uh, to help me improve my scribing skills. I am uh, truly grateful for that. And last but not least, Claire, a huge thanks to you, Claire, my chief scribe. Uh, you were there every time when I needed you. And honestly, I'm very thankful. And congratulations to my Comet Fellows, my peers, every one of you guys. You are amazing. You're going to do great in the future. And I wish you the best in your future medical career. And I thank you, all of you. Best of luck. Thank you, Nesli. Um, now I would like to congratulate my other scribe in endocrinology, Sana Siddiqui. Um, it's been a pleasure to be your chief scribe, Sana. Uh, you always were so inquisitive, asked so many questions, uh, just for feedback, and you were always looking to improve. Um, and I loved your enthusiasm for learning. You were regularly going to clinics early just to pre-chart and study the patient's notes so that you could give your providers the best um, the best helping hand as possible and be part of the healthcare team. Um, basically, you never stop trying to be the best scribe you could be, and that is what the embodiment of a Comet Fellow should, should be. Um, I am happy to announce that you will be, Sana will be applying to PA school this cycle, and I wish you the best of luck. It's been a pleasure to have you in the program, Sana. Hi, everyone. Thank you, Jackie. Uh, I would love to thank my wonderful mentors, Dr. Desai and Dr. Selmayer. I learned so much from them, and I'm very, very grateful for all that they have taught me and introduced me to. I would also love to thank Dr. Tang, who is also one of a wonderful mentor, and Chief Scribes uh, Jason and Claire, and my Chief Scribe, Jackie, you're amazing. Thank you for all of your guidance and support. And congratulations to all of the graduating scribes and incoming chief scribes, AJ, Jacob, and Marcia, and Dominique. Thank you. Thank you, Sana. Uh, and lastly, we'd love to thank Yaki, one of my amazing uh, Express Care scribes, for her excellent work 
across multiple clinics and providers. It's so great to hear about the experiences you've had and share them with the other fellows. Um, you're one of the outstanding fellows who took full advantage of this program and research and, and getting the mentorship and trying out different areas and taking everything in stride. And that's all we ask of you and you absolutely exceed our expectations, um, any expectations and, and went above and beyond this past year. So thank you. Um, well, I already had said my thank yous, but I just want to repeat myself and say once again, thank you to everyone. This has truly been an amazing experience. Um, I got out of it way more than I expected. And I'm just really glad that I was part of it. Um, and I got to meet so many wonderful people. Um, I hope that everyone gets to the places that they want to get to. They achieve their goals. And I know they will because everyone said so many amazing words about every single individual. So um, thank you for everything. And especially all of my providers. Um, they were all so wonderful and amazing and inspiring. I would just like to say thank you so much for everyone for speaking today and for everyone out there listening. Um, thank you for joining us virtually. Um, once again, congratulations to the Comet class of 2020. Um, I really wish we could be in person to celebrate together, but I'm, all, I'm happy that all of you were able to share your experiences um, and I was truly moved by what each and every one of you said, so thank you so much. Um, before we introduce the incoming Comet class of 2021, I would like to invite Dr. Stephen Lin to say a few words to both the outgoing and incoming fellows. Dr. Lin is a board certified family physician, clinical associate professor in Stanford's Division of Primary Care and Population Health, and medical director of Stanford Family Medicine. He has founded three nationally recognized programs, one of which is Stanford's Medical Scribe Post Baccalaureate Fellowship, also known as Comet. Please help me welcome Comet's exec Executive Director, Dr. Stephen Lin. Thank you so much, Jacob. Wow, you know, I'm, I'm really struggling to find uh, words to say that are as meaningful or true as the words that all of you have already shared today. Uh, Lauren, Yaki, Duke, and everybody who uh, uh, spoke about their experiences. It's it's really um, such an incredible honor to hear uh, everything that you've said today, and uh, and I'm really speechless. To, uh, and, but I'll try to say a couple of things um, for this graduation. The first thing is congratulations, congratulations, all of you, class of 2020, for making it to the end of this journey and, and starting a new adventure. Uh, you finished the fellowship and you did it in a year that is probably going to end up being one of the most unusual and challenging years uh, in the world's history for generations. And, and you did it with, uh, you did it with equanimity you did it with style, you did it with a smile on your face, and you did it all by being yourselves and being part of this fellowship program and provided such tremendous value to your patients, to your providers, and to your colleagues. I, my heart is brimming with pride and also with appreciation for the families that are on the line for the faculty mentors that are on the line who have given so much to mentoring you. And I'm just so incredibly proud of each and every one of you. You know, the, the, this year has been so challenging because of this global pandemic. And so many of you have already overcome so many barriers just to get to this point. And just as you were get, you know, getting really good at scribing, just as you were feeling like you were really part of the healthcare team, just as you were finishing up your research and getting ready to present them on the national stage, this pandemic hit and threw everything uh, in a loop. And I, I'm just so proud of the way that all of you have been able to handle that enormous challenge 
uh, and, and to meet the challenge in this moment and not only survive, but to thrive. And, and now we've come to this point. And uh, I, I can say with certainty uh, that you have given so much of yourself and have made a meaningful difference in the lives of the patients that you've touched, in the lives of the providers that you've helped, and then also in the lives of the colleagues that you've met and the friends that you've made. And I hope that you will carry that friendship for years and years to come as you go off and do all of the amazing things that you're about to do, medical school, PA school, nursing school, social work, staying on another year, research, anything that you are dreaming of. I, I hope that we were able to help a little bit. And I hope that you were able to find a little bit of yourself throughout this year. This pandemic has really exposed a lot of deficiencies in our medical systems. And whether it's access to care, affordability of care, whether it's health equity or the terrible disparities that face certain segments of our population, people of color, underserved communities, there's so many problems with the health system and with the world that it, it can feel pretty demoralizing. It can feel pretty dark. But at the same time, I feel so optimistic because I know that the, the way that we're gonna change everything is, is really not through the people that are in the healthcare system now, but the people that are going to be and the, the future generation, and that's you. And if you are any indication of the caliber, the quality of compassionate, human-centered care providers that are going to be filling our hospitals and clinics in the future, then I think that the world will be well taken care of. I think that we will get to a better place and it's because of you. And I, I hope that is not too intimidating. Um, I hope that that is inspirational and I cannot wait to see what you are going to accomplish in the future. And thank you, thank you, thank you for making Comet a part of your journey. Congratulations, everybody. So with that, I think I'm going to turn it over to our chiefs so that we can introduce our brand new class of fellows. Thank you, Dr. Lin, for those amazing words and for everything that you do for this program. I think uh, we're going to go ahead and get started with the white coat ceremony now. So the first incoming scribe, May Keck, welcome to Stanford Family Medicine. Carolina Chong Liao, welcome to Stanford Family Medicine. Catalina Sun, welcome to Stanford Family Medicine and Endocrinology Clinics. Paulina Lomba, welcome to Stanford Family Medicine and Radiation Oncology. Agnes Kagari. Welcome to Stanford Family Medicine. Elise Gonzalez. Welcome to Stanford Family Medicine. Aline Tiangmani. Welcome to Stanford Family Medicine. Bryson Gomez. Welcome to Stanford Internal Medicine. Marleni Marleni Alberon. Welcome to Stanford Internal Medicine and Ravenswood Clinics. Sai Priyanka Kodam. Welcome to Stanford Internal Medicine. And Randy Lin. Welcome to Stanford Infectious Diseases and Family Medicine. I've, uh, I've enjoyed calling all of you guys and, and having our first uh, cohort meeting. Um, and I can't wait to work with you throughout this next year. Um, and really get to know you, but also help you out um, throughout this comment year and make sure you get the most out of this program. Um, I look forward to seeing you soon. We have Bella Anderson Eni. 
not rep not only representing Stanford Portola Valley, but as well as Stanford Senior Care. We have Joseph Yeb working with Dr. Chung in Portola Valley. Margaret Seaton representing Stanford Senior Care. Anna Cabot, Stanford Palliative Care. Myra Lisette Reyes, working in Stanford Ravenswood Clinic. Bianca Bruzzoni, working at Stanford Express Care. Ellie Hickey, working in Stanford Express Care. Miranda Schum, Stanford Express Care. Emil Wanta, Stanford Express Care and Trevor Larson, Stanford Express Care. I'm super excited from what I've seen in our training sessions. You all are well on your way to becoming amazing scribes. I'm super excited to be working with you all and I can't wait to see what the year has for us. All right, it is my pleasure to uh, recognize the incoming Stanford specialty scribes, starting with Haley Yi. Yu. Uh, welcome to Stanford Cardiology. Uh, Kansha Varma, welcome to Stanford Cardiology and Endocrinology. Jamie Kalma, welcome to Stanford Endocrinology. Phoebe Zhang, welcome to Stanford Endocrinology. Sabrina Sangha, uh, welcome to Stanford Endocrinology. Kevin Liu, welcome to Stanford Radiation Oncology. David Wu, welcome to Stanford Gastroenterology. Randy Nan, welcome to Stanford Infectious Diseases and Endocrinology. Rashna Saras Bude, welcome to Stanford Dermatology. Bradley Fong, welcome to Stanford Dermatology. And Rachna Rajasakaran, welcome to Stanford Dermatology. Um, I'm very excited to work with all of you this upcoming year. Um, it's just been a true pleasure already through our training moments and I'm sure we'll get closer and I hope I can achieve, help you achieve um, your goals that you have out of this program. Um, welcome to all of the incoming fellows, uh, the class of 2021. Um, this white coat ceremony is usually a very special moment um, during our orientation um, and we hope that we can celebrate it in person sometime in the future. You all have a lot to look forward to and lastly, just thank you all to the Comet community for attending this graduation. Uh, one last congratulations to the Comet class of 2020. We did it. <laughs> Pop the champagne. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Thank you, everyone. Congratulations. <laughs>